Hi guys, this is Abhinas and you are welcome to my another video. Today in this video, we will create a very good JavaScript project which is to-do list app. We will create this to-do list app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this to-do list, we can save our task that has to be completed or if it is completed, we can mark it as completed. We can also delete the task. So let's see how we can add a new task. Let me write something in this input field and click on the add button. You can see this text is added just below this input field. Let me write another text, upload it online. So this is the second task. Let's write another one, add project link in the resume. So you can save your task like this and you can click on this cross icon to delete this one and you can also mark it as completed. If I click on any one, you can see it will be marked as completed and if I click again, it will be unchecked. So you can see we can check or uncheck these tasks and we can delete these tasks. If I click here, you can see it will be deleted. And there is one more feature, you can save this in your browser. If we refresh the browser, you can see it is still displaying that same thing. Select the first one and refresh the browser again. You can see still it is displaying this and even you can close the browser and open the browser again. Again it will display the same task that you have added in your to-do list app because we are going to store this task list in our browser using local storage. So let's start to create this to-do list app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start the video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images and in this one you can see some images that I will be using on our website. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. You can find all my images download link in the video description. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. Here I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties are applicable for all the HTML element. In this HTML file, I have added this title, to-do list app, easy tutorials. Then we have the link tag with the file name style.css. So it will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code within this body tag. So here let's create one div with the class name container. And next we will add the CSS for this container. So let's add this class name here in this CSS file and here for this container we will add width of 100% and min height it will be 100vh. After that we will add the background and in the background we will add the linear gradient color. So here we will add one angle, 135 degree and two color code. After that we will add some padding, let's add 10 pixel from all the sides. After adding this, let's come back to the HTML file and open this web page with Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So you can see this gradient color on the complete web page. Now let's come back to the HTML file and within this container, let's add one div with the class name to do app. In this to do app, we will add one title in h2. So the title is to do list with this title, we will add one image also. So after this text, we will add img tag and write the file path of the image. So here we will add one icon. It is icon.png. It is available in my folder. You can see we have this images folder and here we have the icon.png. Now let's come back. You can see this text and this icon. Next we have to add some CSS. So let's copy this class name to do app, add it here in the CSS file. And for this one, we will add the width. Width will be 100% and next we will add the max width. So the maximum width will be 540 pixel and background will be white. After that we will add the margin. So the margin is 100 pixel from top left right auto and at the bottom 20 pixel. Let's add the padding of 40 pixel from top, 30 pixel from left and right side and 70 pixel at the bottom. 
After that, we will add the border radius of 10 pixels so that the corners will be round. So you can see it is in the white color and it is horizontally centered because we have added the margin left and right side auto. So let's come back again, copy this one. And in this one, we have the text in H2. So write H2. Here we will add the color. Then we will add the display. Display will be flex because we have to align the icon and text. Align items will be center and margin at the bottom. It will be 20 pixel. And in this S2, we have the icon with the IMG tag. So write IMG. And for this image, we will add the width. Width will be 30 pixel and Let's add the margin from the left side. So there will be a space between the icon and text. Now you can see this title and this icon is looking good. Now in this one, we have to create one search box with the search button. So let's come back and uh, after this text, let's add one div with the class name row. And in this one, there will be one input field. Input type will be text and let's add the ID id will be input box and after that we will add the placeholder so in this placeholder we will add the text add your text then we will add the button so in this button we will add the text add you can see this input field and this add button next we have to design it so just come back and we will add the css for this row Write it here in the CSS file with a dot and here we will add display. So display will be flex, then align item center and justify content a space between. After that we will add the background. In this one we will change the background. Then we will add the border radius. Border radius will be 30 pixel. Padding from the left side. It will be 20 pixel and margin bottom 25 pixel you can see this color in the background next we have to add the css for this input field so here we will add input for this input we will add flex one so it will take the full width then we will add the border border will be none and outline none background will be transparent after this, we will add the padding. So let's add the padding of 10 pixel. You can see the input field is looking good. Next, we have to add the CSS for this button. So let's come back and here we will add the button. In this button also, we will add the border and outline none. Then we will add the padding. So let's add the padding of 16 pixel from top and bottom and left, right 50 pixel. Here we will change the background. It will be this color code. Then we will add the color. This will be the button text color. Then we will add the font size. So the font size is 16 pixel and cursor will be pointer. Let's add the border radius. So the border radius is 40 pixel. So you can see this button looks good. Now we can write anything in this input field. After creating this input field and button, we have to create a list of tasks. So let's come back and in this HTML file, after closing of this row, here we will create one UL unordered list and in this one we will add one ID. So the ID is list container. In this UL we will add the list items with the LI and here we will add text task 1. Let's duplicate it and it will be task 2, 3. Right now we are adding the task name manually. We will delete it later and we will add the task using the JavaScript when we will click on the button. So right now it will display task one, two, three here. So we have to add the CSS for this one. So let's come back and here we will add UL and LI. So for this list, list style, it will be none. Then let's add the font size. So the font size is 17 pixel and we will add the padding. 
so let's add the padding of 12 pixel 8 pixel 12 pixel and 50 pixel then we will add the user select user select will be none and cursor will be pointer you can see the changes in this list items next we have to add one circle in front of all these lists so let's come back and here we will add the ulli and pseudo element before so in this before we will add the content empty then position will be absolute height let's add the height of 28 pixel and width also 28 pixel then we will add the border radius 50 percent in this one we will add the background image url and in this url we will add the file path images slash unchecked.png this image is there in our folder here we will add the background size so the background size is cover and background position center here we will add top 12 pixel left 8 pixel and in this one we are adding position absolute so in this li we will add the position relative after adding this you can see one circle in front of all these tasks next we have to add one more thing when we will click here it should be selected so we have to add one more class name so let's come back and here let's add one class name in the first one class checked next we will add the css with this checked class name so here we will add ulli dot checked in this one we will add the color we will change the color then we will add the text decoration text decoration will be line through so you can see one line that is crossing this task and we will add the another icon here so let's come back again copy this one and here we will add pseudo element before and in this before we have to update this image let's copy this one add it here and here we will add another image which is checked.png after adding this you can see the icon is different in the first one so we have added one checked icon in the first one and other are unchecked so this is the difference between the other task and completed task right now these task list are displaying by default so we have to hide this one and we will display the task when we will enter any text in this input field and click on the add button so let's come back and let's comment this one after commenting this line you can see it is hidden now we will add the javascript to create a javascript file we will click here and add the file name script.js so this is the script file next we have to connect this file with the html so in this html file above this closing body tab we will add a script src and the file name script.js now the html file and script file is connected now in this javascript file we have to create some variables for the elements which is this input field and button so here we have one id input box so let's copy this one and add it here in this one we will add const input box equal to document dot get element by id and add this id after that we have one more id list container let's copy this one let me duplicate this line add this id here and here we will add the variable name list container after that we have to add the click function on this button so in this button we will add on click equal to add task this is add task and next we have to define this function add task in the javascript so here let's add that function 
add task and here we will add the code that will be executed when we will click on that button. So let me write the JavaScript code first then I will explain you line by line. So in this function I have added one if condition. Here we are checking if the input box dot value which is here we have the input box and if it is empty then it will be like this. So if the input box is empty then it should give the message you must write something. So let's check this one. If I click on this button you can see it is giving an alert you must write something. And once we will add anything then it will go in this condition else condition. In this line it is creating one HTML element with the tag name li document dot create element li and it is storing this element in this li variable. Now in this li we have to add the text also. So what will be the text? The text that we have added in the input field. So in this one we are adding li inner HTML that is the text inside the li. Here we are adding input box dot value. So whatever text we will add in the input field that will be added in this li. Now we have to display this li. So where this li should be displayed. So this li should be displayed under this list container. So here we have added the list container variable. So we are adding list container append child li. So this li will be displayed under this list container. So let's check this one also. If I write hello and click on the add button, it is added here. Right now you can see this hello is still displaying in this field. So we have to clear this input field after adding the text. So let's come back and after this else condition we will add input box dot value and the value will be empty. So hello and click on the add button. You can see it is displaying here. Let's add the another text. JavaScript. It is added here. Next we have to add one more thing. We have to add one cross icon at the end of this list that can be used to delete this particular task. So let's come back. In this list we have to add one cross icon. So we will add the icon within the span tag. So here we will add let. span equal to document dot create element and the element with the tag name span. In this span we have to add the content so let's add the span dot inner html equal to this code that is the cross icon. After adding this it will add one cross icon in the span tag. Next we have to display this span. So here we will add li dot append child span. That's it. After adding this if I write the text click on the add button. You can see we have the text javascript and at the end we have the cross icon. Next we will add the CSS for this cross icon which is in the span tag. So let's come back to the CSS file and uh, here we will add the ul li and a span. In this span we will add the position absolute then we will add the right, right will be 0 and top will be 5 pixel after that we will add width so the width will be 40 pixel and height also 40 pixel after that we will add the font size so the font size is 22 pixel and this is the color code line height will be 40 pixel and text align center Next we have to add the hover effect on this icon so we will add hover. 
and when we will take cursor the background will be different so here we will add the background let's check the website again and here we have the cross icon in the right side and if i take cursor you can see the background is changing next we will add one more thing in this one we will add the border radius 50 percent so it will be circle so this cross icon looks good next we have to add one more feature if we will click on this particular task it will be checked or unchecked and if we will click on this cross icon it should delete the particular task to do that let's come back after this add task function we will add some javascript so here we will add javascript for the click function So here we have added add event listener click. So whenever we will click in the container where we have stored all the tasks, first it will check where we have clicked. If we have clicked on li, then it should add the checked class name and if the checked class name is already there, it will remove that because we have added class list dot toggle from the target element if the clicked target element is li. Now if the clicked target element is a span, if we have clicked on a span, then it will delete the parent element. Here we are adding parent element remove. So the parent element is the li element. So it will remove that li. So the task will be deleted. So let's check this one. Here we will add one task. Let's click on the add button. It is displaying here. And if I click here, you can see it will be checked and if I click again, it is unchecked. So this click is working fine for the task. We can check and uncheck this task to mark this task as completed or incomplete. And we can click on this cross icon to delete this one. Let's see if I click here, it is deleted. Now there is one more thing. If I add one task here, click on the add button task task 2 it is displaying here and once we will refresh the website or close the browser and open the browser again it will be disappeared so we have to store these tasks in our browser so that whenever we will open the browser again our task list or to-do list will be displayed as it is so let's come back here we will create one function and let's add the function name save data and in this one we will add local storage dot set item and in this set item we have to add the name so let's add the name data and after that we have to add the value that we want to save in our browser so we have to save the entire content which is here in this list container so let's add list container dot inner html so whatever content is there in the list container that will be stored in our browser with the name of data and we can display this one using the get item data local storage get item data next we have to call this save data every time we will add any changes so whenever we will add any new task it should call this save data to save the new data in the browser so let's copy this one and add it here after this one so whenever we will add any task this save data will be called and it will save the updated content in the browser it will be called here also when we will check or uncheck the task then also we will call this save data and we will call it here also when we will delete the task when the task is deleted then again we will save the new data so we have added this data in our browser next we have to display this data whenever we will open the website again so to do that let's create one function here that is show 
list or let's add show task in this one we will add the list container dot inner html equal to local storage dot get item and the get item is data so it will give all the content stored in the browser with the name of data next we have to simply call this function so just copy this one add it here like this after adding this let's come back to the website now if i add a task list here like this video share this video subscribe the channel and if i refresh the website it is still displaying the same task let me click on the first one and it is completed and if i refresh still it is displaying these three tasks let me close the browser and open this browser again again it is displaying these tasks as it is the first one is completed we have the second task and third task if i click on the delete icon for the second one you can see we have two tasks here like this video subscribe the channel let me refresh the website and still it is displaying this like this video and subscribe the channel so finally we have completed this beautiful to-do list app using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video